All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're going to green chop today. I wanted to take you along with me and kind of show you that. Um, I'm standing here in front of the round bales because I had told you in a previous video that I started feeding the round bales. Um, the cows weren't quite ready for that. There was a lot of waste, and they would pick through it, look for the best stuff, and then out back out to pasture looking for green grasses. So um, while we still have green grass in the fields, um, we're going to green chop that, and uh, we've been probably making a load per day um, as weather permits. And today is definitely a weather permitting day. You don't want really uh, gusty winds because the grass won't make it to the wagon. So very calm today. I've moved to a pure alfalfa field, and uh, I'm going to talk to you as soon as we get this wagon put in with the cows. Right, guys we got this wagon loaded that was about three laps around the field to put a nice mound on the wagon i had help from my wife to get through the uh the gate and get the wagon parked in here uh this is a beautiful pure alfalfa um three three laps and the amount that's in here is enough um the cows will gorge themselves on it and uh based on based on the manure that i'm seeing here the puddles um it's it's going right through them uh, but to see them lay down after they've eaten on this wagon, stuffed full bellies and just laying around rather than roaming the pasture looking for something to eat, that's a lot better. That's better for our steers to put on size. Um, we've got a bull here. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of mouths to feed, and this wagon does the trick. I'll kind of show you guys. I just parked it here. Um, I just use this pitchfork to uh, even out the wagon when I get it back before I bring it into the yard. But, uh, what do you think, Bell? Some good stuff? So that's it, guys. That's green chopping. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.